Oh, are they ready to roll? Whoa. Wow. That's legitimately really good. good. <laughs> are you kidding me? This tastes amazing. Bucket list bistro, where we take you to your bucket list destinations. I think you went to one too many moon parties in Thailand. Hey everyone, I'm Christy Carlson Romano. And I'm Brendan Rooney, and this is Bucket List Bistro. Brendan and I love traveling, and since we're unable to go anywhere right now during these trying times, we thought that it would be so fun to bring a little taste of some of the places that we have on our bucket list destinations right into our very own home. We'll be making dishes inspired by these cultures that we have the utmost love and respect for. And today, we're going to be making an authentic pad thai dish paired with a refreshing thai iced tea. Oof. So I've never been to Thailand before, but Brendan has, and he has the most amazing stories that he's told me about over oh, the years. Oh yeah. Some crazy stories actually. Well, Thailand is one of my favorite places in the world, mm -hmm. and while I've been there, it's still on my bucket list, and from the stories I've told you, it's now on your bucket Wait, list. Wait, are you saying that there are stories that you haven't told me about Thailand? No. The thing that I love most about Thailand are the people and yeah. the culture. You've always said that. I live with locals, I backpack, and I ate a lot of food. One of those foods was street cart pad thai, and that's part of why we're making this dish today. All right, so let's get started. So we've got chicken breast, tofu, chives, palm sugar, fish sauce, garlic, tamarind, olive oil, shallots, peanuts, water, Lime wedges, eggs, bean sprouts, and pad thai rice noodles. Brennan's gonna go ahead and start boiling the noodles. Thailand is a pretty amazing place, huh? Yeah, so there's this place in Thailand called Chiang Mai, mm -hmm. and there's meditation retreats that exist there. And I didn't get to do that. Mm. And that's really something that I'd like to do. Because if I can get some, that would be a gift. I wish we could go there now. Oh man. But we can't. Honestly, Thailand is the top of my list of where I want to go. Wait, are we going with our kids to this trip or no kids? I mean, I love our kids, but we've been in quarantine. We'll go there again with you when you're old enough. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get a tattoo there. What? No. 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 No tattoos. It's boiling, look at that. We need to throw these noodles in the boiling water. <laughs> So these noodles have been soaked, so they'll only take about three to five minutes to cook. That's pretty quick. Yeah, pad thai is a fairly simple dish in terms of steps. All right, let's drain it. I think these are ready. Okay. All right, so we've got our noodles ready and standing by. Let's get the chicken ready, right? Let's do it. Go ahead and add that chicken. Let's season it with some salt, some pepper. Give that a second, we can give it a turn. Hey, you know what? I have something to say. These are people watching this show that have not been to Thailand. So can you give them any tips and tricks of what yes, to do in yes. Thailand, okay. where so, to go, where not to go? Don't spend a lot of time in Bangkok in the beginning. Okay. Okay, but if you are there on Saturday, they have something called the Chadu Chak Market and you can almost buy anything. <laughs> but you can buy monkeys, awesome t-shirts, guitars, cars, I think. Baby teeth? Ba what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it's very disturbing. <laughs> you can buy an assortment, an array of goods. Now we're gonna take that chicken out, right? Yes, we're going okay. to take the chicken out. I have more stories, really beautiful stories, that made me a better human being, because there's before Thailand, Brendan, and then there's after Thailand, Brendan. Wow. Those are two different people. And guess which one you met? You met after Thailand, Brendan. <gasps> and I still needed work, okay? Aww. So guess, you know, you do the math. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go put a little bit more olive oil in the pan, my friend, my husband. You know my friend. Okay, all right, pal. I'll get right to that. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and put some more olive oil in the pan. All right. Did you do half of this already? I did not. Oh, okay, so then do half of your garlic, guys. Throw in all the garlic. Oh, all of it? Okay. Don't let it burn. Let's throw in the rest of those, shall it? Nice, let's throw in this tofu. You ever have tofu before you went to Thailand? I feel like. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you were like a healthy. I mean, I grew eater. up in Southern California. Yeah. You know, you can't escape it. 
Right. Oh, really? No. I definitely didn't eat tofu until I think I started eating pad thai. Really? I remember when I first started eating pad thai, I felt so fancy. I was like, I'm cultured. I'm eating pad thai. Wow. <laughs> and we're just going to let that cook a couple minutes on each side. You think we could get our daughter to eat tofu? Sure. Really? Yeah. You think that maybe we could save some of this pad thai and try to get her to eat it? Yeah. I think she'll love it. Really? Yeah, we made it. Aw. Just like your kids will love it when you make it, because this is an awesome recipe. What we're doing is we're doing a combo. We're doing a chicken, tofu, pad thai <laughs> mix. Exactly. And it's kind of like when you were there and on like... They have a giant bowl that yeah, they do it in. like and a they, walk. And they just go. They go so hard. I, I was fascinated. All right, so while that tofu cooks, we're going to make the pad thai sauce. Mm -hmm. Inside the tamarind paste, we put some water, fish sauce, put in that palm sugar, Give it a stir -roo. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, look how nice and thick it gets. Doobie doobie. Doobie doop. Doobie doobie. Doobie doobie. Doobie doobie. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pass the time somehow. You know you do, <laughs> honestly. What do you guys do for fun? Comment below. What do you do for fun while you're in the kitchen? Yeah. How do you share the I... responsibility? <laughs> yeah, he needs to clean more when we cook. <laughs> look at that face. Like she if thinks I... it's a game. Oh. But it is a game. It's bucket list bistro. Look how thick this gets. This looks really good. Can I try it? I want to try it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Getting messy. Getting messy in the bucket list bistro. Hmm. Oh, it tastes good. All right. You go ahead. Put the noodles in. I'll put the fish sauce in. Let's do it. So these noodles are going to be a little sticky, and they'll start to even out after we put our sauce in there. Start giving those a stir. You're going to make sure that as you're incorporating the noodles and as they're cooking down with the sauce, that they're completely absorbed by the sauce. That's right. And then once that's been done, you're going to fry this egg on the other side of the pan that you've left open. That feels very street food to me. That's the way you do it. One pan. One pan wonder. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And now we're going to scramble these eggs. You're going to incorporate the egg into the noodles and give it that perfect consistency. So now I'm going to go ahead and put our bean sprouts half of our peanuts and our garlic chives and kick it up a notch. Let's do it. All right, we're looking pretty good here. Here we go, wow. You need some help? No. Well, I'm gonna try to help you anyway. Okay. Cause it's teamwork on Bucket List Bistro tonight. <laughs> so I'm topping it off with limes and peanuts. You don't know. I can sing. I don't know. You don't know. You're a Broadway. You're Broadway star, Christy Carlson Romano. Christy Carlson. Who once played Belle in the right, hit right, Broadway show, Beauty and the Beast. You're at eleven. We want them to keep watching the show. <laughs> All right. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and mix this up. And don't, she don't break the consistency of the noodles too much. Okay. That looks beautiful, and it's actually piping hot. So we'll set this aside and make our really tasty Thai iced tea. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put our tea, which by the way, we put a mixture of black tea and chai tea. So it still has a very sweet kind of spice. Now we're gonna add some condensed milk, mm -hmm. some half and half, and some coconut milk, and we're gonna give it a stir. All right. Look at that, condensed Ooh, milk. Sweetened. Can you believe this is calorie free? <laughs> Okay, All so right. let's go ahead and put our mixture into the tea. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Yummy, yummy, Ooh. yummy, we got tea in our tummy. And we'll wait and we'll drink this as we eat our pad thai. Okay, so we have our pad thai. This seems so authentic. First I wanna take, I like we have tea a little drink. Cheers. Cheers to our hard work. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. That's Legitimately really good. good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. This is gonna go so good with okay, the pad thai. Ready? I am ready. Okay. Okay. Let's get a. You wanna do a little lime? A little more you lime? You do it. You do it. I'm liming it up. <gasps> this looks so good, guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. Who needs a plate? Are you kidding me? This tastes amazing. This is so good, you guys. Mm. Does it taste kind of like. It's authentic? very up under. This is like transporting what? me back. Really? Yeah. Should I sing for you or something too? No. Okay. 
All Cheers. right. Well, let's close our eyes and pretend we're on an exotic vacation. Let's just pretend it's not 2020. Mmm. Mmm. That feels good. Mmm. This was amazing. Thank you guys so much. This was so much fun. We hope that you guys will have as much fun making this for your friends and family as we did today. If you want to see more episodes of Bucket List Bistro, you can catch us every two weeks mm -hmm. here on Taste of Fox. Whoop, whoop. See you next time.